And we got a new student today. And uh, oh, hi, Yulia. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, yeah, um, have you, um, uh, I want to know the learning background of the Chinese painting or and, uh, Chinese language, Chinese uh, Do you have any experience? Well, I grew up in Russia and um, in my youth, I studied Mandarin and calligraphy and that was a long time ago. So I don't remember much, but I know a little bit about it. So I remember a little bit. Oh, good. Oh, okay. So you, you learned a little bit already. Good, good, good. I see. Uh, yeah. What's the, what, what, what's the beginner, uh, beginner level? So not, not exactly the zero. So you learned some already. Good, good, good. It's low, but it's not zero. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, choreography is the uh, things. Even the uh, the painting, I think we all we all understand. It's just a kind of the uh, exercise um, or um, meditation. Some people use that. You know, enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. Yeah. Um, and do not um, worry about, oh, wow, a hundred times I practiced this still, you know, <laughs> far from the, <laughs> the museum painting like thing. Um, that not, that's, the, that's the part, not the point, right? Yes, yeah, so you just get better and better and you enjoy the things you are getting better and better and learn a little bit, learn a little bit and enjoy the processing, I mean, yeah. Thank and, you. Uh -huh. are, you, uh, are you in the online uh, online class because we have um, uh, students they, they want to do homework or after class um, they, they do it and the post there uh, and we answer questions and share things there are you on the uh, online class there blue hand arts uh, 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 not yet okay you can think about that uh -huh. so uh, if you are on on the uh, online uh, classroom and uh, um, we have uh, people ask question and the homework for uh, Henry, my husband's class and uh, my uh, choreography class and they share lots of things. Yeah. We have lots of stu uh, students uh, on a different level. Some are very advanced. <laughs> well, I would love to be part of that group. So if you could send me the, the how to do it, I'll do it. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Uh, and who else? Who else? The uh, the the new probably uh, doesn't show the picture. Whatever. Uh, okay, I'm just uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, start the the class. Okay, so um, you learned the um, uh, I mean, our new student learned the uh, choreography a little bit even uh, already. Um, so ac actually, anytime can join our class. Uh, we have a, a new uh, word new word uh, to learn each class and also um, the skills we will build up and uh, um, like a repeat, always practice, always practice um, the same. Uh, for our students, existing students, we also, we can learn, the, um, we can review the standard style, very uh, basic one. We all have that. I bet Yulia, um, I forgot, I need to uh, send uh, our new, stu new student again, the handout of how to hold the brush, right? Very, I will go very quick, uh, go through that. So um, five, finger, five fingers, um, fingertips touch the, the brush. First, middle finger, I mean, uh, the grab like that, two, two fingers, index, and the thumb, yeah. And then middle one from, up, from out, outside towards yourself, and the ring fingers from inner towards out, yeah. And a small pinky just uh, beside your ring finger to support it, to support it. So five fingers are used. And then um, keep your fist empty, which means you only use the tip of your fingers and uh, let the fingers relax. Uh, later, you can twist the brush if needed. Yeah, understand? And the, uh, the saying is says, here, 
here, we want the slant phoenix. Uh, uh, we do not want a phoenix eye here. We want a dragon eye round here, which means empty fist. Same thing. Uh, also, um, the, the meaning why we do that is relax this. Only the tip of your fingers touched and uh, keep your brush um, twistable. Otherwise, if you do this way, you know, not dragon eye, not um, uh, um, uh, 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 empty fist, you cannot twist the brush, right? Yeah, very good. So when we do um, do painting, so sometimes we need to, uh, uh, let me review and remind. Sometimes I say, oh, perpendicular straight your brush to the, uh, yeah, because some uh, calligraphy, we always need to do that. And the painting, sometimes we need this uh, stroke as well. And this handout shows five basic strokes, five basic strokes, and also um, eternity um, as the very basic, uh, hand, uh, basic the um, choreography uh, characters because it contains um, supposed to be all of um, eight skills, ways to do the choreography and uh, later some uh, some change based on the eight uh, ways to do what's the what's the um, the basic uh, the the skill. So uh, let's see. The number one on top is the dot, right? By the way, this is the standard style, standard style. And uh, uh, for our existing students recently, um, I'm uh, teaching uh, the other official script uh, style. So I said it's for students, um, existing students, so we can also um, review the standard of very basic things and uh, by comparison of two uh, styles. So the standard style, the dot, dot is supposed to be the number, see the number one stroke and also the very basic strokes because other strokes mm, with this, <laughs> based on that, change the shape kind of. I try to put on the <laughs> and you can see that. Okay, see the arrow goes, which means the, uh, the direction of your brush goes. Um, conceal the tip and see, conceal the arrow goes, goes a little bit this way, conceal. And then press, gradually press, 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 press. And then gradually lifting, not really draw, and then lifting, 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 lifting. See, that's what the arrow goes, right? To that. And uh, you can do the different dot at the different direction. Like if I can go same principle, conceal and then gradually press, but I go this way, right? Uh, so the dot on this way. And uh, we have the four dots underneath some things together. So arrange them different direction. One dot and then two dots, three dots. You can manage in a different size as well. And the four, the big one, like we did the very first this direction. Right, that's four dots. You could arrange different uh, uh, directions. And then actually um, you can do that on the, like the, if you want to do the um, plum pedal, plum pedal, same way. And you can do it very wrong, very wrong, very rounded. Right? 
or with some shape. My brush is too big. However, yeah, you can arrange it uh, different directions. Um, and uh, the second stroke in the standard style is the horizontal, actually horizontal. I don't know how much you get the, this. We have the, uh, we have the like uh, for the water writing practicing paper, um, we call magic paper because use water only. It's the horizontal one and uh, same principle as the dot, conceal the beginning and the ending. Look at it, it's here, uh, the horizontal. Conceal and then press, pause when you're ready and then go. At the end, you press again about a, a little this way. And then lift back and lift. Go very slow. Yeah. Um, there are like two ends, a little bit like the dark bone thing by pressing, um, but do not do too showy, you know, like we call um, like a nail head, like that. Do not do that, okay. That not, not, doesn't look like the same stroke, like a three stroke, do not do that. Okay, the vertical one. Vertical one, same principle, conceal. Here, we got two style of the um, uh, vertical. They are all conceal of the uh, tip. I mean, the the the, top, the, the, the uh, starting place, and you can conceal a little bit this way. You can. Do a little bit this way, but the purpose is same thing, conceal the tip, you know, make a little bit of press and then go. Why we have two different at the end. See this one back a little bit, still look, you know, look, looks very, it's still tip, you know, tip end, but look at the arrow back a little bit. I'm going to write a right air back a little bit like in the air. We call we call this um, uh, like the holding the um, dropping morning dew, and this is the hanging needle. <laughs> so the needle a little bit sharper, but do not swaying. Still very lightly, just directly no back. Directly lift, lift in the air, but make this by gradually lifting, make the sharp tip. And this is uh, back to the air a little bit, but still a little bit fat, fat, fatter than that. Um, but still that shows the tip, the, the tip ending. Uh, so this is a dew, hanging dew, dropping dew with some volume. And uh, this is uh, more sharp, it's called a hanging needle. So two kinds. Um, let's do the uh, hanging needle first, okay. Conceal the tip and the press and adjust kind of the, uh, the direction of the brush. I'm ready to go downward. Okay, go, 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 go. Gradually lift, gradually lift, gradually lift, 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 lift. See very slow, do not sweep. If you sweep, um, we call rest tail. That's not a calligraphy. In painting, probably sometimes you need that, but try to uh, practice it correct uh, calligraphy. Do not do this right now. Okay, this is easy. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, by lifting, by lifting to adjust the width, uh, make it the uh, the tip tip ending. Okay, and uh, I will do uh, some. My brush is very. Uh, big, actually, this is not very uh, tip, is tipped. A uh, good, um, uh, the morning dew one. Conceal, conceal, and when you press, uh, adjust the brush, uh, the direction, when you're ready to go down, okay, then go. And 
At the end, gradually lift, gradually lift, gradually lift. And see what's the back in the air, you know, the movement, the movement shows. Still thinner than this part, you can see is the end of the uh, stroke, but not very tipped. You know, sometimes the, uh, the vertical, uh, you do not want that sharp. The end. Right, so you back a little bit. Okay, that's the vertical thing. And then, uh, um, the slant, um, actually uh, the number five was shows kind of the, uh, is still um, rise. Um, it's still the horizontal one, but with a little bit of the up, with a little bit up, we see rise. <laughs> Same thing. So right, the rise is the same principle, but goes direction instead of a horizontal, a little bit rise. We do some in the 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 um, the real characters, right? And the press continue with the slant. Press slant to the to the left. Left it down. We always call it a slant. Okay, gradually lift, gradually lift, gradually lift, kind of the sweeping, but gradually lift. So the horizontal one, but by the rising a little bit and the press and the slant, gradually lift. Okay, that's the sixth one for the slant, rise for the fifth. Um, and then the short um, slant actually with, uh, with the more showy uh, starting is this break, B-R-E-A-K, the number seven, this is that, the number seven here. With like the, the pause this direction and go a little bit to like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, do not mimic that arrow. Arrow just to show you the direction of your uh, tip, brush tip. So see the whole stroke, your stroke, your brush need to like fill out the whole thing by one stroke, okay. That's the things we do. Okay, that's the number seven. So it's the slant to the left, but shorter. See, this is a number six is much longer. And this is a start with this. This is, I mean, the junction from the junction. So, and the H1, H1 uh, is got pressed down. Uh, simply, we just call the press. So slant, um, just the concept, slant is to the left and the press is always to the right. That's just the concept, the term in the standard style writing, the calligraphy. Uh, this is gradual lift, but no press at the end. The eight one is uh, to the right. Start, still conceal, sometimes directly touch in the uh, real, um, but we learn the stroke. Standard, okay, a little bit, conceal, conceal, mm -hmm. and then go to the right, down. Gradually press the hardest one, and then lift, 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 twist your brush along the, the upper line. So, um, 
when I say uh, the pra uh, practically, uh, sometimes you cannot see the um, really things on uh, the, the uh, conceal the tip on the paper, like the arrow goes, you cannot really see that. But actually there is the movement um, as the propelling to do that. See that a little bit like, the, okay, in the air. And then, yeah, do that. Looks like a direct touch. And we say for the for the slant for the slant stroke, like to the we say in the choreography we say uh, the the to the left side right uh, left side down, and actually this is the stroke. If without uh, uh, something, uh, I mean without the te without the uh, the uh, starting place without without the. Uh, Head part is just a directly touch, press, and the lift. We make the bamboo leaves. Bamboo leaves is we call slant stroke. This stroke, this stroke, just directly touch without the head, without a dog bone head. Direct, directly touch and uh, press lift, press, lift, and you make it, you know, bamboo, bamboo leaves in group, right? Three in group, three in group and in different, different direction. Try that. Press, lift, press, lift, and uh, press, lift. See if you can control that to do these strokes. Um, that's bamboo, leaf, bamboo leaves, basic thing. And you can do, um, I mean, from the same place, but do not at the same point exactly. Do not do that. We call that chicken foot, chicken foot one. Yeah, do not do that. And you can do a range a little bit, you know, different direction and a little bit like the different uh, uh, length, a little bit different length. Actually, you cannot do handmade. You cannot do exactly the same, same length try to do different. And the four, if you do three good and you can do five, one, two, three, four, you know, five, a little bit, a little bit across or touch for the real thing. That's the bamboo leaves in group, right? Also see if you can do the upward You know, different direction. That's a practically used for this stroke, uh, like a slant stroke, if without a starting part. Okay, and then um, oh, there is another uh, stroke, um, like after after vertical, we call it hook vertical part. And then press, 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 twist the brush and gradually lift, like stretch out. Hook, like that. So press and gradually lift shortly because it's a hook. Uh -huh. um, practically use in the painting, we do some like the rose on the rose stem, rose branch, some front, <laughs> front with the press and the kick, press and the kick, press and the, you know, do this kind of things. So press and the kick, something like that. But when you're doing correct calligraphy, you try to do very controlled and gradually gradual lift. This is kind of hard, hard one, yeah. You do not, you, you do not go like uh, by, 
by pressing. Yeah, you, you do not go directly like that. Well, actually I press the thumb. Mm -hmm. You go slower, you do not go like that. I, as I said, uh, do not sweeping that much. Gradually lift to make it a sharp tip at the end. Yeah, something like that. Okay, and uh, talking about this is the standard style, right? Uh, for our existing students, I said uh, recently we are learning some official script style. Um, actually, I watched uh, um, you sending uh, your um, practicing and uh, your work. And you are doing very, you are doing very good. <laughs> yeah, uh, talking about like a, a, a Susan a Susan Raymond, and uh, you talked about the I think before. We we never get the satisfied one on other styles like a standard style, walking style, you know, like that. But this time you did the um, um, the uh, script uh, official script looks very looks very looks very good, and because it's a. You know, I don't know why it's uh, slowly because um, um, it requires uh, stroke by stroke, you know, and uh, mostly you want to see the, the power uh, shows and the dignified looking um, and easier, you know, easier for um, manage the balancing looking thing. And I don't know, what, 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 do, you, what do you think about Susan? Well, I also got the the felt pad that you're working on right now with the the patterns. I finally got one of those that you sent to me, so that helped a lot too. Just oh, good, good. Great lines oh, good, good. Oh, good, good. With yeah. the crazy, like the um uh, English in English flag looking thing, right? Yes, just what okay. you're on right there, and that, that helped to have those lines underneath. It just gave me more confidence to um, really kind of to go more slowly in a way. Right. Yeah, right. I don't know. This wasn't uh, right. Going so, quickly. Um, um, yeah, um, yeah. Um, I, I anyway, just go ahead and do it. Do it. Because <laughs> I saw um, Emily. Uh, I I know Emily is doing very uh, perfect on the standard style, and uh, but some uh, sometimes I still want to. I said, oh, I will pick the uh, the bone uh, in the in, uh, chicken bone in the chicken egg. <laughs> you know, we have seen it. Well, since you are very good, very on uh, advanced students, I still want to let you from the um the uh, in the structure or in these characters. What you know does it? Look that should be look, looked like more like a what, uh, you know, and I will let her know. And I look, um, even uh, like for this time, the, the plum, the characters, uh, he does just gorgeous, beautiful. And I think it's better looking um, than her uh, standard style. I, I don't know why, what, what, what's your feeling, uh, Emily, doing the um, official script? I don't know. I really, I really like it. Um, I, it's, it almost feels. I, I sort of feel like I'm carving. Right, right, exactly. Because when you do this perpendicular, you're thinking about on the hard surface. You know, it. The most important, important things is shows the power, and you're thinking, thinking of you like, like the knife on this side and the go on, um, I mean, for the, uh, uh, so shows your power, um, like to the, uh, to the direction you are going to, you know, forward like that. Very, very interesting. I'm showing, sure, uh, I'm comparing with the, um, the, the style. And the, um, the thing, the most important things I think I want, I feel like for um, one character, for the one character image, you know, um, shows a very powerful thing. One one character as image, we have lots of this kind of thing, right? Uh, the dragon or something like that. And uh, um, uh, uh, really want to uh, like one character, very like a heavy, um, steady, um, dignified looking by itself, right? So this is, yeah, matched that kind of the, the the looking <laughs> so um, that's a review um the uh official script that's the most important uh, uh 
stroke is the horizontal. Uh, high the tip, same principle, but do not press because use knife or stick, you can, doesn't make sense when you press, but hold it tightly. Okay, touch it and you go this way a little bit to the left and then back all the way to the right. And then press and lift gradually a little bit up. We say to make a um, uh, silk swarm head, uh, which means, you know, a little, you know, a round, very rounded, not a dog bone shoe in big press, but uh, tail by pressing, lifting to make the uh, wild geese, wild goose tail. This kind, uh, that's the one stroke. The second stroke is the horizontal one. Same thing, but no pressing and the, no, that, not that sharp end because no pressing lift on the carving thing because it's hard service, right? Doesn't, it, yeah, but it shows more power. So it goes slower and nothing really showy, okay. Hide the tip and go down, 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 down. Just that, that's it. And the back, lift. And then slant, slant. No sharp tip for the slant. How to do slant. Same principle, touch. Um, and the, like the back stroke a little bit to hide the seal, hide the tip, conceal the tip. And then go and very fat kind of the press for our brush and back a little bit, you know, this kind of the slant. Instead of swaving, no swaving. Instead of swaving, actually go back a little bit you know, kind of look like the dual, not very sharp because it's carving, you know, on the stone or on the um, bronze, on the, uh, on the stone, on the stone, on, on the wood. Uh, on the bronze before, uh, this is after the, uh, I mean, the Oracle uh, style, after that, after the seal um, carving style. Uh, we can use this on the seal carving as well, but this is a little bit fatter, right? Um, before the, um, the uh, seal carving style, the oracle style was even thinner, the thinner, but more, um, cur more curved um, style, thinner stroke. Okay, uh, and also the press, the press one to the, to the right. Um, it's not that this kind of a change. It's the same way to this, same way. Uh, conceal, you know, backstroke a little bit and then gradually, you know, not that much, but press gradually. And then just very round, rounded, just lift shorter. Not that showy because it's on the hard surface, wood, bamboo or stone and use knife. So actually easier, easier to do uh, in the official script. So um, each time uh, when I give you the sample, I give you the, um, like the, from the, um, the copy book and the, from, the, from the famous person's writing. Um, as I said, um, I, um, uh, my class, I demoed, um, explained how to do that, but a sample, I give you as the master master's uh, sample. We have the saying says, uh, if you copy uh, copy the higher uh, higher level high high level thing, you reach the middle level. If you uh, copy middle level, you you will get the lower low, lower uh, level. So I give you the higher sample. I'm here just to let you uh, demo just that. Demo then with the process, how to do that. I explain things, but when you um, 
uh, copy, you just copy the, uh, the sample, the sample one and try to do that. Um, yeah, trust me, you will get some like a discount, like 80%, 85%, uh, you know, to reach that high level master looking thing. And uh, so that's why I'm giving you the things uh, I got online, the pictures sometimes not very, not very clear, but from the uh, the the rubbing from the like the uh, the stone of things, but you can see the things uh, the the exactly things the real things, and I will explain demo things how to do that in my class. Okay, uh, that's how much we reviewed and uh, um, for our new student our new semester, um, and also compare with the things now we are learning, and uh, uh, no matter. Uh, some same things, same principles, mm -hmm. basic things. Okay, let's start, look at the handout. Uh, we are going to learn one characters. I think these characters are uh, import, important. Look at our handout. Uh, I give you uh, more than one styles for that. Um, as I said to Kathy, um, you choose one uh, different situation, you know, match different painting or different situation you want to use as image by itself, or you want to use compare, I mean, uh, different direction, uh, I mean, different place you can choose, or you can choose like a different uh, style you feel comfortable to write. So, uh, so each person are different or different per or uh, same person at different time you can choose, okay? Um, very common, even the master, they are good at this style or feel uh, this style for this character, this time I want to use this style I, or I never get comfortable for that style uh, at all. It's fine. So when we learn, I give you uh, like this time, four styles of that, uh, the and the characters for the save, uh, secure, calm, quiet. Okay. Uh, basically, um, this like a two parts, right? As the uh, Chinese characters, we say we have a, a radical part and the like the main other part. Okay. I'm going to write a standard style. The dot we talked about, right? The dot on the top. And then from left to the right, right? Small vertical, but with a little bit of direction. I said every stroke is kind of a, a large of the dot. <laughs> so press and the lift, some walking longer. And the horizontal one, and continue with the press and the hook. Uh, did you notice my this horizontal one is too far from the dot? Here, too spacey, not good. And uh, underneath, what's the character? Is that a character we learned before? Woman. Woman, very good. Who's talking? Emily. Emily, ah, yes, yes, yes. This part is too spacey. I will write the other one. So looks like a no reason, right? For put that. Press, 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 and the like a back lift.
Okay, so. This is the characters uh, standard style. And uh, talking about the, there is a roof part and the underneath is the female. Um, is any question there? Any people want to know uh, what's that? What's that radical called? Any people know that or guess what's that? <laughs> Shake hand, Susan Raymond. <laughs> uh, uh, Emily knows that. Isn't it Ruth? Yes, yes, yes. You 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 learned some uh, uh, b b before something. Still remember, right? Good. Great. Yeah, that's the roof. That's the roof. Looks like look looks like a roof thing, right? It's a roof. Okay, and uh, this is underneath. This is we talk about is the female, right? I don't know, you have the, we talked about that at first, uh, you have the uh, experience, experience of travel um, in the China or in the U.S. The, the most important <laughs> practical characters on the, uh, the, the rest, rest, rest room, there is this, yeah. Before, you know, China is not very open and lots of like a small town, they don't have the English sign there. It's just this there. So I, I, yeah, I always told my students, oh, this is very important to characters. You need to learn that. Uh, anyway, this is female. And uh, think about the meaning, you know, um, help you to remember. So what's the meaning to save, secure, and uh, you look the, looks the same when a safe situation shows, oh, um, under, under roof, under roof, uh, woman, you know, woman, woman, woman there, woman there, or woman, they are not, you know, outside, outside they are under roof, in the house, in the house, in the house. Okay, now, you know, safe play, safe, it's a safe place and the safe, safe situation. I, you know, this kind of the meaning. That's why, how come, you know, Chinese characters, sometimes you can, um, yeah, you remember it, <laughs> you remember it. That is the, the character, you, you, you won't forget it. And the roof looking radical you know, kind of roof, roof, uh, roof looking radical, uh, radical on the top. And then the woman uh, in the house there, are so safe. <laughs> Victoria, now when I see the character for woman, I just, I, when, I, when you asked what that was, I thought is, that's not the character for branch, but I knew I was thinking of branch because he had to. <laughs> <laughs> that was later because I got, I got this <laughs> again. <laughs> I got this uh, uh, toothpicks like uh, 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 again. Uh, yes, because uh, we are learning the um, spring spring flower early uh, spring flower um, as four gentle one of the four gentlemen. The plum painting we say um, the uh, the branch uh, use the character uh, Chinese character female characters um, like the structure. What's that? So like one stroke here for the female, one stroke here, right? And uh, the other strokes here, other strokes here. Right? So which means, uh, so this is a female, right? This is a female, which means like the, uh, the what we want some uh, crossing stroke in the plum blossom branch painting, like a section by section, these strokes shows, you know, sometimes shows a little bit of see some folding things, right? Then the other branch, what to do? The other branch, you know, it, uh, like that other branch, but we want this with some direction and with some connection with this. Oh, cause some probably some, you know, from this the small, okay, the small branch here, right? Small branch here, right? And then probably a little, a, a little, a little cross things like here, you know, 
with some irreg irregular shape in regular shape, some things like that. That's why whatever, lots of possibilities. Uh, that's why we call, you know, four, four strokes of things like the branch looking thing um, with some crossing and uh, looks like the female characters, <laughs> we call that. So when you learn this, you know uh, why um, in the like, um, uh, mustard uh, seeds garden, Menu Chinese painting. They talked about what's the character looking um, for the branch. Okay, let's move on. Uh, standard style and also walking style. Walking style is faster because walking. I have a question. Yes, Julia. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I got the paper. Should I cut it in half, or and also which side of the paper do you paint on? Because the sides seem different. Normally, normally on the, you feel that on the smooth side, on the smoother side, more, more smooth side. However, some, some people, they have their, only, uh, their own habits to choose the coarse size. Yeah, the answer is smooth side, smooth okay. side. Mm -hmm. Okay, for the walking style, uh, uh, we just, uh, Okay, uh, some uh, stroke connect. Uh, and uh, some strokes uh, order changed. See the dot one, we do, do not see the dot anymore. And uh, directly the long stroke connect uh, dot and the slant for the female, the first stroke, right? Just become one stroke. And the uh, order changed, look at, do the roof, this one first, this one first, see? From this become this, understand? Okay. And then uh, the female one, the female one, uh, the first stroke go very, very up, um, uh, indicate the dot connected. I mean, the dot include. So from here, you do the big female one. Something like that uh, to, to connect here, yeah. It's okay, yeah. I just, I just want to show you how to do that. And this is kind of the back one. Um, I, I would say, normally we say in the standard style, back in the air, right? But walking, you to, uh, ready to the, uh, for the next stroke, next the characters. So you show a little bit normally, but do not on purposely do the strong hook here. Just, yeah, naturally up, naturally up and it shows direction. Okay, let's do it again. Kind of change the order. <laughs> this first and then Not hard, right? Yeah, sometimes you can do more connect here. Okay, let's look at the grass style, cursive style, also called running style. See, even faster than the walking because it's running. Same order, more shows more connection. The brush even doesn't lift doesn't leave the paper, it's on the paper. Okay, same way, do the this first and the connection, do this and the connect and do the female one and the very connect everything. Yeah, that's the walking style, running style, cursive style, but some roles there I explained. Yeah, um, the running style really shows, um, you know, uh, when the place you want to show some fluency and show some, um, you know, the chi flow um, and the movement with the chi is really good one. It's really good one. and. Uh, uh, depend on where you want to put this, right? So you choose 
different style as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the. For the one. And then that's moved on the. Official script. Uh, talking about the official script because on the hard surface to do to work on so not that much press and the lift but just one stroke we do the uh, goose tail flying goose tail flying to show at the end and uh, yeah with no okay let me show it Hard service, okay. The dot, dot, not that much smooth. Um, it's like the triangle, like a triangle. You know, thinking of, think, always thinking of uh, when you carve, you know, carve like a seal, carve on a stone. Um, you cannot do that smooth, smooth like the raindrop thing. Um, very easy to do the press, you know, press and gradual lift, but not that, far, not, not that fa fast, you know, like a triangle thing. Like a little bit of triangle. I didn't do very good. Triangle thing. And then the little vertical. And then horizontal, but no no tail. Same way to do, but not that show, not that much show. And then do not do the junction part like like that. Do not do the junction part. Just the uh, like a start, other stroke, cause carving, you know, you cannot use the, you know, twist or turn your knife very easily. <laughs> just start other stroke, you know, start, just start here. Some even leave apart or together, but actually uh, other, other, other stroke. Mm -hmm. Even you touched. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the female part, they do like the one, one stroke for that. And then this part, so left part and the right part. And then the big long um, with that uh, silk worm head, silk swarm head, and the uh, goose tail ending, goose tail, uh, I mean the flying tail ending. Press, press, and uh, gradually lift, not go too far. <laughs> Some things that. And as you know, as you know, noted the size, um, I mean, the whole looking um, more flat, more flat, very interesting. Um, Cause in Chinese writing um, is vertically lined, right? Vertically lined. So if you want to save, I guess you want to save space or save some things you do um, very, uh, uh, short, so look uh, flat looking, uh, and also um, so uh, later on paper, you know grass uh, grass style, walking style, you know do very long long one, no matter. Um, by that time, uh, no not not paper yet, so uh, very flat looking thing. Um, in other words, there is a strong horizontal stroke. Uh, and the short vertical stroke. Uh, this place not vertical, not vertical in these characters, but um, a strong horizontal one. And also try to you know make strokes a little bit connect because um, when you carve is easier. Yeah, start another other, other stroke even connect.
Uh, however, um, I think um, um, for uh, writing with other characters together or with painting, uh, like a com um, combined meaning with other um, characters, I will, I will probably choose uh, walking style or grass style, running style. But by itself, as image looking and thinking of the meaning, I think I personally like the uh, official script a lot. <laughs> Looks very, you know, uh, steady, um, very, um, you know, with some volume there, <laughs> and easier to write it. Very, uh, I mean, stable looking, uh, steady looking for me. If one character as image uh, writing. Mm -hmm. So uh, you choose one at the uh, right place you want to use, or when you practice this and uh, try to uh, find out your feeling about um, which one you feel comfortable to write, to write, to write it. And uh, let's see, um, do we still have time? Oh, we still have a little. Um, time. <laughs> I want to show, uh, get the uh, the plum um, blossom practicing strokes. Um, we have a number. Yeah, I got some um, my winter sweet um, blossom yellow uh, one here. And is that folks? I got the. Uh, the bowl, like uh, uh, the color background, try to see. Get it closer. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. It again. I want to show you the. Pedal clear. Is that the focused? I can see it. Yeah, because this is a kind of the um the double double pedals we didn't learn yet, and uh, I was strong um uh, suggest you to um do the five five basic strokes the single pedal one first. But I want to show you what uh, and the pedal like. See the whole shape is kind of, you make it rounded, right? Round. And uh, for the, the, uh, the, the this is the, uh, the pedal. And the center, you see a little bit of green there, a little bit of green there. And I saw, um, yeah, I talked to the, uh, the char, the char, char uh, Charlie's, Charlie's painting. Not focused. <laughs> okay, probably this way even better. Uh, okay, yeah, a little bit of a white yellowish centered thing. Um, and this with no statement, this kind, but a little bit um, green make the yellow or other on uh, the red one more prettier. See the char uh, the Charlie's painting. Also, lots of Chinese people do that as well. Um, put a little bit of green in center, I think, uh, and uh, he, he does a little bit of green on the uh, the tree the tree trunk, the tree branch. You know, indicated because it's from the from winter, and the very um, plum tree is very aged for decades. So lots of, um, you want to show some aged things still on the, uh, on the trunk, some moss thing, you know, and made some layers for the color. And also uh, see, this is, the, this is the back, the back, the back thing. Uh -huh. And uh, the pedal is the, the yeah, the pedal is kind of, uh, I mean, very, very round, the fatty, 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 fatty round thing. Uh -huh. And some curly thing, some curly thing, curly thing. And the loss of uh, 
without uh, without a total uh, opening, lots of just like that. It will hold for like a month. I mean, for one month, almost one month, just like that. <laughs> uh huh. Like halfway halfway bloom, halfway bloom, uh, like a bud looking. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we learned that if if this way you can see a little bit the center thing, right? Uh, and also I brought other thing. <laughs> This is the Japanese ball and it shows the, the plum. Is it focused? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay to see. Anyway, um, see this plum, they didn't do the same, the, the same thing. You cannot, you, you, you can do or without that. And uh, you see the bud and this, you see the whole shape should be the round outside, outside, you know, you cannot in your mind is the round and the pedal, see the pedal, very, the fatty rounded pedal and they try to do, uh, you know, five different, um, you know, different size round will be more beautiful, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. It's actually it's hard, you know, uh -huh. but try to see it's, it's hard to do that. Yeah, do not think it's easy. Yeah, like I, Emily says, wow, I need to, how much I need to practice. Never get it, but it's very hard. I, 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 I yeah, Chinese, Chinese people, even master, they, they call it just a circle plum, circle plum. That's one, one hardest, um, yeah, the skill in the Chinese painting. Yeah, and see that, also try to do uh, the pedal is rounded, but not perfect, per, not perfect like a ruler round. You know, go slow, but it's, it's you know, in between, in between round and uh, square and a triangle stroke, you know, a little bit of things like that. You know, even on the bowl, this like the like fine arts things shows that. Uh -huh. Use brush, try to do it, make fun with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you see the some uh, side side view look of that. For the side one, looks very kind of a flat, you know, flat looking. Uh, I post my the red one uh, at the classroom, uh, just bloomed yesterday, uh, my red plum uh, with the stems, the red one. Yeah, side view is very flat, you know. Uh, but the facing one try to make the uh, the pedal very round, very round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll do that a lot, a lot <laughs> with the oh um ah time is flying. <laughs> okay. Um, I think one more thing, just one minute. I saw saw you guys do the uh, do the lots of the the painting cards there. I want to show just a, a couple of minutes. Couple of minutes. I want to show you uh, what I did on my on uh, hand roll. You know, hand scroll, hand scroll. Uh, like the not for hanging and uh, for uh, in Chinese we we had hand scroll and uh, for um uh, like self. Self, please, and the self store, not for selling. Uh, in the museum, it shows for the exhibition, they show the master's piece. I, I, I know that. But my painting is just uh, for, my, for myself. <laughs> I saw you guys do lots of shooting classrooms, so I used a little bit of time to show you that. This is the hand scroll, and when you, you store that in the silk, silk in the box, and with the bronze on the buckle. <laughs> so save save space. Uh, and what I what I do very quick. Uh -huh. And here uh, I'm you know you need to write from what time to what time and you know date, month, um, <laughs> things. And the open is a buckle, is a buckle here. <laughs> My things. And I have the, um, I have the, uh, I got used, to, I got up very early and I do some things, choreography or Chinese painting uh, early, early morning. 
<laughs> yes, because I got earlier. I'm the earlier person got up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, silk margin. Silk margin here. And then uh, uh, the paper part. Actually, this is the, uh, this is the uh, paper part for uh, preface. People write calligraphy to introduce so what's this, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, I saw it's the paper paper place, the Shuan paper place. I just directly painted on that because for myself, I don't mind. <laughs> uh, so one painting I did is on, on the middle autumn, autumn around the time, uh, September. Uh, I got very early and no person, very quiet. Um, I said, um, uh, I, I said, invited, invite moon. Like moon is only friend beside me. So uh, because, uh, I'm quiet and uh, invited the moon uh, with, my, uh, with my orchid. The September, you know, the moon festival around the time. So I, 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 I do that uh, in my moon. So when I do painting, I use paper weight that, and uh, I do this area. Okay, and then go, 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 go. <laughs> and this shows one, um, once I got the bare root uh, orchids from overseas China, you know, uh, in Chinese painting, they do lots of uh, bare roots painting for um, for the uh, uh, the orchids. Um, yeah, without part, without things. And when, when we bought this, it looks like that. So bare roots and during the night. So um, um, there's a reason for me to do just the ink. <laughs> during the night, I don't see the color. Uh, so I just use the ink painting. I say, be happy, very happy to got more um, baby orchids. <laughs> so yeah, this is the root. Uh -huh. They can go without any growing media for um, almost one month. So this area, I did two of them. It's a preface and with the silk margin again. And here started the um, the, the, the place um, to paint. So I, I did something instead of uh, the writing, I did just a painting on that. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, anyway, um, okay, this piece is the five orchids I mentioned um, to, was chosen to the uh, yearly Huntington Library. Uh, I mentioned that, right, in uh, October. Um, and I said, before, um, before sending to the exhibition, so I showered them. We get ready to go exhibition. Mm -hmm. Unfocused? Oh. And when uh, other, one of my other orchids, I said, um, is um, the red center and uh, flash um, um, the uh, uh, yellow petal, but with two stripes red pattern. Um, I like that. You know, when I got morning, I just want to paint my by myself and you know do some things. Uh, I don't know, just my habits <laughs> to do. Um, and uh, this one I did, I think I remember um, I, uh, I mentioned in the class on um, our subject matter to do like the Su uh, Xin Geng Xiang, the plain heart, plain color one for the flower one, even more fragrant. So the very light plain one, more fragrant than the colorful one. I, I think once we, 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 we did something in the class as well. So I did this mo my morning painting. Go, 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 roll, roll, roll. <laughs> oh, this one, I said, so we have the, uh, I'm in uh, Southern California, we have the uh, burning wind, burning wind um, cut my um, uh, chrysanthemum on the branch, cut it, destroyed it, and it's down the, lie down on the street, uh, on the ground for two days. And then um, Henry um, picked it up, said, oh, it's, uh, I want to save it. And put in the buckets and uh, soak them. <laughs> and then we um, pick it back to the vase and it bloomed. <laughs> so I just uh, 
you know, write this <laughs> and, you know, kind of just um, write down my mood and you can see it's my art journal and my daily life journey, you know. <laughs> Um, and this is my um, my um, chrysanthemum fans, because um, chrysanthemum in the Chinese painting, lots of people with the um, uh, the bamboo stick fans, when it grow taller for the uh, chrysanthemum, can it uh, stand by itself? So build a fence there. I built the fence from our um, the bamboo uh, in our backyard, the old bamboo stick. So uh, lots of uh, chrysanthemums there. I built that. Uh, so once I did that chrysanthemum group, <laughs> group uh, picture. <laughs> Oh, and the other one, uh, the uh, I said the uh, autumn meaning chu yi. No, autumn meaning is really strong, and the yellow uh, flower become red. The petal uh, was yellow, pure yellow, and then mm, the uh, the late autumn become red. Oh, and I see the badge is called the country girl. <laughs> The name, name country girl. Oh, I understand. Um, yeah, from the yellow and the shows, you know, the flush looking at the uh, deep wind, uh, I mean, the deep wind, uh, deep autumn. So the name is country girl. <laughs> and the ones um, I, um, you know, because uh, different chrysanthemum there are and the different days, show, uh, different ones shows, um, you know, capture my, my eyes. Uh -huh. And uh, um, this one, I write, I was fascinated by the, you know, the very um, curly um, petals. I said, wind, flow, movement, do that, the colorful one. And uh, a few days later, I think, well, I still like the ink one. <laughs> so I did the ink fragrant. <laughs> so I, it just, uh, I think it just the journey. <laughs> yeah, I recorded some, uh, the real life feeling thing. Sometimes I like the colorful one. And so I just after that, right after that, I said, ah, I still want to do the ink one. I don't know why. Uh -huh. So ink fragrant, I wrote. And then silk margin again at the end, you know, and you can do some things um, like write some things, but it's still paper things after the silk margin. I just use this and uh, did the pen painting again. This is a uh, uh, Taiwanese the butterfly uh, orchids. Uh, it's fragrant and it's called the Yixing One Heart Venus. Uh, Venus, uh -huh. And I did that with the color and the huge leaves. And then my last piece <laughs> is Christmas time. I, I just learned uh, on, uh, on the uh, bonsai. Uh, I learned, yeah, I learned bonsai and the one uh, uh, Japanese master in UK, um, he shows use um, a Christmas tree um, you know, in a four inch pot, the little one, uh, a four inch pot and uh, cut them and use the uh, uh, bonsai kit, the wire to, you know, um, um, to bend some, uh, some of the branches and uh, make some gesture thing, looking thing. And uh, so that's all, <laughs> that's all, yeah. And uh, I use the paper here because uh, when I put the seal, need a longer time to get dry. And uh, so I spread that use paper weight at like, 20 minutes. Um, other part, work uh, the watercolor part uh, get dried, um, and the, the oil part need a couple of days. You know, um, you do not want to, you know when you roll it, you probably you move it. So I put this simply put this paper, but no problem. Yeah, in twenty in in twenty minutes in twenty minutes. Yeah, 
So I put it back. Um, this is like a semi semi size. You can directly uh, on that. So um, I probably you know um, you can think of that or on the unexpe expensive paper you design a little bit or think a little bit and I just did directly go that. Not sometimes not the perfect not perfect one, but you know when you did some good work, think of you know I re I still remember the Emily's bird. You know, with the bird character and the bird on the, on the top, the show, first the picture you showed me, I was so impressed. Yeah, I said, and the um, Susan Susan Raymond's um, the the pine the pine cone, um, um, and Kathy's Christmas tree with like a me dot style thing, and also um, the Hughes um, uh, the chrysanthemum and the Michael's orchids, um, I mean uh, Daniel uh, Dan, uh, Charles orchids. You know, um, these things, I have lots of this, this. I want to, you know, save it. And um, on the paper later, probably I won't, you know, uh, I need to mount it to become beautiful and I can see that. This is mounted already with the perfect, you know, looking and enhanced color already. And also um, I can save place. I do not want to do the frame. I don't have that much, um, I mean, the place to put on the frame and I see them all the day. I have on this case, I can save space and I can um, look at that later. And actually I sometimes I open it and I see that to be happy to say that. And uh, I'm glad I saved that and I, I can recall things. So this is from uh, September to the, uh, uh, to the, uh, December, um, I did, you know, something, some things. The often like the more than one week, the piece. So not rush, not for anything. So just for my feeling when I like to do, yeah. Um, my this one is um, this the old old one, and actually the good news is um, I, I I got a very uh, fair price one. I just got because um, they, they have promotion in Chinese New Year or just after, after the um, pandemic time uh, the, uh, in China, uh, promotion price there. Uh, uh, so I got very uh, good price and uh, you check our website. Yeah, if you, if you, if you want, you can, you can, you can get, uh, but I, I like it. I, I, I use it myself and I want it the good price one. <laughs> That's why I got, so, um, and uh, you save it this way, just in my drawer on my desk. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you for sharing that. That is excellent. How fun. Thanks for your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let you go. Yeah. See you next That's time. Great. And uh, um, any questions? Um, I will, um, and Henry suggested me to do the um, other, like the discussion um, place at the website. We will, um, is, do want to want the home too many pages just uh, um, um, extended the old one so um, yeah um, we'll uh, have the other the new one started at the classroom and the other student new students um, um, I will strongly um, suggest you to sign up for the online classroom um, yeah because we have lots of things to show there and talk about there and the critique the uh, homework and asking uh, ask and answer question there uh, okay thank you very much uh, see you uh, next time thank you thank you